If there's one thing I've learned from movies, it's that you should never open a mysterious box. Because when you do, there's gonna be trouble. There's blood. Some of the most beloved movies yet made use what I call the cliche of the mysterious unopened box. Why do they use it? Why has this cliche proven successful? Well, this video will investigate these questions. <coughs> California, stay away from here. Stay away from here now. Don't, don't, don't come in here. First, in Steven Spielberg's Raiders of the Lost Ark, the Ark of the Covenant from the Old Testament is a mystery box. Indiana Jones wants to find it and put it in the museum. The Nazis want to open it. Early in the movie, we're told what happens when they open it. Now, what's that supposed to be coming out of there? Lightning. Fire. Power of God or something. Does that stop them from opening it? No. Would that stop us, the audience, from wanting it opened? Probably not. Here's one obvious reason why movies use mystery boxes. They're great hooks. They keep us attentive, watching and listening, eagerly anticipating a reveal of the mystery of what's inside. This principle has been well known in psychology, education, and rhetoric for centuries. If you want to hook an audience, you introduce a mystery at the beginning of your speech or your talk. As well, mystery boxes are usually going to be open because, you know, for screenwriters, if you introduce a mystery, you should probably solve it. That's a pact, I think, that the mystery writer makes with his audience. The mystery box in movies is one of the magician's tricks, in other words. Movie makers know this, and the box sometimes remains unopened until the end of the movie. Such is the case, of course, with Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now, Captain America the First Avenger from 2011, I think less skillfully uses the mystery box. This box is opened at the beginning of the movie by the villain Red Skull. He actually mentions Raiders of the Lost Ark in a vague way, saying that Hitler shouldn't be looking for mystery boxes in the desert when he could be finding the box that Red Skull is holding. I think filmmakers figured out how to use mystery boxes a long time ago. In the 1931 movie, Dracula, the box, which is a coffin, contains Dracula himself. He's revealed early on. But the movie also climaxes with human characters frantically trying to find Dracula in a box to kill him. Of course, almost all Dracula movies use the mystery box as a coffin that unveils the vampire. He's not here. The really memorable mystery box movie for me is the 1955 film noir thriller Kiss Me Deadly. In that movie, the L.A. detective Mike Hammer is trying to figure out what secret a fleet of criminals is trying to protect. Late in the movie, he finds out that they are after a mystery box. And so, of course, he opens it. It's hot. Hot, sir? Here in this scene, we get just a peek of what's inside. Glowing light emitted from the box. It actually burns Mike Hammer's hand. Later we're told that the box comes from the Manhattan Project. It's nuclear, probably. Is it uranium, or a dirty bomb, or something else? Well, the same kind of mystery box shows up in the 1984 science fiction movie Repo Men. What's in the trunk of the car? Something from Los Alamos, the site of the Manhattan Project. Pulp Fiction definitely uses the mystery box cliche, alluding to both Kiss Me Deadly and Repo Man, to show us a glowing something in the briefcase that the character Vincent Vega looks into. We have it. Vincent! We have it? Yeah, we have it. In all three of these movies and more, something complex, I think, is going on. In Kiss Me Deadly, we're told what it is. The mystery box is a kind of Pandora's box. Now, what is Pandora's box? Well, very briefly, it's an ancient Greek myth where a person named Pandora is told not to open a jar that she's given care of. But what does she do? Of course she opens it, letting out all the world's troubles, sickness, famine, and disease. Pandora's box is a metaphor for negative curiosity. It's an ancient wisdom tradition, I think at least in the Hebrew, Greek, and Roman cultures, but probably others worldwide, that one shouldn't be too curious. Because if you are too curious, like Pandora, you'll unleash hell. Not only is Pandora's box a method that articulates that point about curiosity, so too is the Adam and Eve story in Genesis 3. They're told not to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, but of course, they're too curious, and they do so, leading to death. Now there's a kind of curiosity that I think leads to discovery and insight, a good kind. But the flip side is that curiosity can ruin us. 
As the American cliche goes, curiosity kills the cat. And so Kiss Me Deadly articulates that, implying that the mysteries of the atom that modern science has recently probed might ruin us. The Manhattan Project, which looked into how to use atoms destructively, was a kind of Pandora's box, according to this movie. Then I taste better, you know what I'm saying? The other one over there. <laughs> you pound down the stuff like this. Uh -huh. We see this kind of point about science and curiosity and destruction in the 1979 movie Alien. Now, the famous chestburster scene has been viewed as a metaphor for all kinds of bodily concerns. Pregnancy, infectious disease, it's a big phallic symbol. But you know what it also is? It's a mystery box, the scientist's body. And remember, he's ventured deep into the unexplored alien ship only to have an alien thing attach itself to his face. His body actually becomes a mystery box. When the box is open, as it were, all hell breaks loose on the ship. Now here's a variation on the mystery box by Stanley Kubrick in his 2001 A Space Odyssey. The black monolith is a giant mystery box. It certainly looks like that. When it appears, it evolves apes and humans. So the question is, of course, what is it? What's inside it? Who made it? Now cleverly, this box remains unopened and none of its mysteries are solved. We're left as the audience, as the character David Bowman is, to ponder all the mysteries surrounding this giant monolith box. Does Kubrick tell us to go search for the black box or to stay away from it? Should we be curious enough to go explore space for it or should we leave it alone? To me, a simple movie cliche, the mysterious unopened box, leads us to some remarkable ethical, philosophical, psychological, and spiritual questions. Should we leave something alone or find out what it is? Perhaps we should keep our curiosity in check as the ancient wisdom goes. The mystery box in movies, after all, keeps warning us. Or perhaps what it requires of us is, to understand what's in the box, we need to think outside the box. <laughs>